So, so everyone automatically moves around the moves moves around the pool automatically. Okay. The overhead map to check the players' positions. Triangular frame inside the red circle is the opposing team's goal. I believe we are always blue. So here it is. The goal is always on the left uh, left side of the um, overhead map. Let's resume. Try and keep track of your position in relation to the goal. Now, next, let's try uh, moving the ball carrier manually. I'm going to try manually. Press triangle. Uh, manual. Now I am moving. We see. We. Um, it says to do D-pad, but I am doing the analog stick. We. And then, I think you press what? The only the ball carrier can be moved uh, manually. All, all other players stay on auto. Okay. Note that it becomes harder to manage your teammates while manually controlling the, the carrier. This mode is um, recommended for veteran blitzers. It's, I think it's a lot easier to um, strategize or move around in manual. The auto, the auto tends to move around funny. Try, press triangle again. Now you're back to auto movement. Switching between manual and auto gets a feel for both modes. The direction in manual A mode, the direction of movement corresponds to the overhead map. If the player moves towards the opposing team, left, um, right, moves towards your own team's goal. So, yeah. In addition to manual A, there's ma also manual B. Um, stick with auto movement for now. Movement modes are only applicable when you're on, on offense, when you're on defense, your entire team moves to auto. Use overhead map, keep track of play, change movement modes with triangle, move players move automatically on defense. That's pretty much what we learned. Uh, action commands. In order to make your player perform an action command, you must first choose an action command. Press square button. So when you're swimming around, you press square and you can choose to pass to another player or shoot to the goal. It's recommended to shoot when you're close to the goal. If you shoot from a far distance, the strength of the shot... Uh, you, um, in the upper right corner, you see... Uh, you see shot, you see SH, which means shot. That's the power of the shot. And like your HP, as you swim, the shot goes, the power of the shot goes down as you move away. Um, it all, it's recommended that you, that you're close when you shoot, so that, um, you, so that your power, so the power of your shot, uh, remain, um, re remains as most, uh, as high as it can, um, to, pa to bypass the endurance, which is also which we have too, the um, catch or endurance—I forget which one—of the enemy goalie. If we, if the power of our shot pa surpasses the uh, uh, enemy goalie's uh, catch, then um, it, we will make the goal. If it doesn't, they'll catch the ball and throw it back to their team. With pass, uh, we're pa we pass to another part of our, another member of our team. If the uh, pass number goes down to zero, we fumble. So that's another thing you have to watch out for. So I will shoot. Th that is explained elsewhere. Please click dribble. Okay. I apparently explained something that I was not supposed to explain. There are three available commands. Pass, shoot, dribble. Dribble, pretty much you keep the ball. Uh, dribble simply uh, makes the player resume movement. Pass, shoot are the most important commands 
Uh, that uh, square opens command menu, three commands, dribble simply makes a player remove. Mo resume moving. And then, uh, passing. Now let's take a look at passing. Press square now. Like, select pass. And the receiver for your pass, his stats are shown on the top right. Okay, so there's a pass. Now the pass is, your com is complete, now Dado, ha now Dado has the ball. Stats are determined the determine the outcome of each pass. Take a look uh, at the numbers shown next to PA. Number 10 represents uh, Dado's p uh, passing accuracy. Let's pass the ball back to Titus. Notice how the dra notice a uh, gradual decrease in pass. As I explained, um, the pass and shot both uh, decrease as it flows through the water. Friction of the water causes the pass to decrease gradually. When it reaches zero, the pass becomes uncatchable and you fumble, and it gets caught and it gets caught by a random player on the field. Now let's watch. Uh, now let's watch Titus throw a bad pass. The PA, his PAR is currently uh, set to three. Press square and pass to someone impossible. When a pass fails, the ball becomes loose. A loose ball can be claimed by anyone, and thus is caught by a random player. Therefore, a player with high pass can successfully throw longer passes. Likewise, a player with low pass often throws bad passes, giving the other team a chance to set the ball. Shooting. Now let's look at how to shoot. Shooting is very similar to passing. As I explained, you have the shooting accuracy, SH. A shot uh, loses, um, sh loses, power, uh, loses uh, power or accuracy as it travels through the water, just as pass loses accuracy. A shot will reach to the goal, the SH of at least with with SH of at least one, sc uh, one will score. If a, if a shot's SH is depleted, it will fail. A goalkeeper defends th the goal from Titus's shot. Let's do it, okay? And shoot. Once you select shoot, the goalkeeper's stats will appear beneath yours. Notice how, uh, notice CA, that is catch. Me, um, that's how powerful, that's how easily he can catch it. Um, okay. Rep represents his ability, yeah, CA represents the ability to catch uh, incoming shots. In this example, R Rowdy's goalkeeping ability is known, is shown as 8. So, anything, uh, 8 or higher, check, uh, Kyle's is SH now. The shot has lost some SH and is currently at 5. Goalkeeper's catch is five, is uh, eight. If no SH remains, then the shot fails. So yeah, anything, um, anything nine or higher would uh, would get past Roddy. Be aware that the actual CA applied here is random, ranging from 50 to 150 percent of the goalkeep goalie's current CA, which means it's not always it's not always going to be the same catch. Sometime you may get lucky. Here the goalkeeper ha has a CA of eight, so the actual amount subtract subtracted may were, may vary vary from four to twelve. Now let's see whether the shot score will remain above zero. No, it doesn't because I had five. The shot failed because I the, my, the shot failed because it was the shot the shot power was less than his catch. Understand? Switch to manual movement. 
Yeah. This is the reason why I pref um, I prefer manual movement is because it's a lot easier to to get closer like this and then push or, then perform the shot straight up in his face. <sighs> See? That's why I prefer manual. So the shot was successful. Uh, SH 